This instructional video will be demonstrating the speed and accuracy of processing frozen tissue with the cryo embedder. The first part will be using a variety of tissue samples processed routinely in clinical pathology labs. Part 2 demonstrates its use when processing frozen sections on skin cancer removed during Mohs surgery. Part 1 is shown in actual time. Part 2 is demonstrated slower for teaching purposes. The cryo and better system. A tested and proven method for preparing tissue for frozen sectioning. It consists of a cutting board, chuck holder, cryostat adapters, a trimming blade, flat embedding discs, instructional CD, and the embedding device. It works with the cutting chucks from all makes of cryostats. The IEC, the old Shandon Lipshaw, the Tissue Tech, the Microm, the Leica, and the new Thermal Shandon. The embedding device fits down inside the cryostat and assumes the temperature of the chamber. Because tissue is mostly composed of water, it is the moisture in the specimen that will cause it to adhere to the cold disc. The cryo embedder has solved the problems associated with processing needle biopsies. The specimen is placed on the smooth disc and easily manipulated to lay on a flat plane. The embedder gently extracts the heat from the tissue to avoid freeze artifact. A technician can consistently cut dozens of full face sections on very small tissue samples without cutting away valuable portions of it. Because needle biopsies are rarely inked, they can be difficult to see in the embedding medium. By using the cryo embedder, there is no guessing where the specimen is in the block. When it is transferred to the cutting chuck and removed from the flat disc, the entire specimen is visible. When using a disc that has been cooled, small samples easily stick to the smooth steel and multiple pieces are all on the same plane during the cutting process instead of floating randomly throughout the block. This portion of the demonstration has been performed in real time to show the speed at which frozen section samples can be ready to cut. In addition to speeding up the processing time for the technician, the cryo embedder provides the pathologist with more accurate slides that will show all of the pieces in the block on the same plane in each section placed on the slide. Again, precious tissue is spared Multiple sections can be cut on the same plane and slides will be ready for the pathologist faster. When vertical biopsies are needed, the moist tissue will stick to the cold disc and stay in place during the embedding process, providing a true cross-section of the specimen. Although the design of the cryo embedder reduces the need to make major adjustments of the block to be in alignment with the blade, it's best to be cautious and apply a thin buffer layer to prevent the blade from damaging the specimen. This can be done on larger or darker specimens by putting a drop of embedding medium over the bare tissue and placing it on the floor of the cryostat. With smaller specimens that may be difficult to see, simply smooth a thin layer over the bare tissue in order to provide a protective layer, 
yet still see the shape of the specimen. Regardless of which embedding method is used, the specimen should first be examined and given relaxation cuts or scores needed for it to lay flat. After a specimen is properly mapped, marked, and relaxed so that it lays down on a flat plane, it is placed upon a flat embedding disc at eye level where the edges are teased down while rotating the disc 360 degrees for a complete view. The tissue is now frozen securely onto the disc. Using a cold disc is faster than a warm one, yet still allows time to work with the specimen. Be sure to tap the top of the specimen so the center will attach to the disc. You can now visibly verify that the specimen is frozen on a flat plane. Cutting chucks should be prepared with embedding medium while they are warm so the median can fill in the grooves for gripping power. The following will demonstrate the embedding process with a variety of cryostat chucks. The micron chuck fits into the center hole of the bottom section of the embedding device and the flat disc with the frozen specimen fits into the center hole on the top section of the embedding device. The specimen is covered with embedding medium. You can see here how the medium has already begun to freeze and continues to do so as the temperature of the embedder is conducted into the specimen. It is immediately turned over onto the cutting chuck, keeping the specimen securely in place, then lifted outside the chamber to apply freeze spray while rotating the discs. It's important to keep the unit inside the cold chamber as much as possible. The top portion is lifted off with the discs. When the discs are separated, the tissue has been transferred to the cutting chuck. Perfect. Here is the process shown again with the square Shandon chuck. Companies often merge or change names. If the chuck you use is similar to any of these shown, they will work with the cryo embedder. One great advantage of the cryo embedder is the ability to remove it from the cryostat chamber. This not only assists with visually witnessing the flatness of the specimen, but also being able to spray the specimen without stirring up harmful airborne pathogens. The chuck holder on the Tissue Tech Cryostat is unable to adjust for variation from specimen to specimen, but with the cryo embedder, each specimen is lowered onto the posts in the same alignment, thus eliminating the need to make adjustments. Again, simply spray, lower back into the chamber, separate the chuck from the flat disc, and another perfect specimen with complete margins ready to cut. There is a large flat disc included in the cryo embedder system for larger specimens. It will accommodate tissue that is the length of a microscope slide. The embedding process for the larger specimens works the same as with the smaller discs that are the width of a microscope slide.
The transfer of temperature through the metal disc into the tissue will not cause crystal artifact, as sometimes happens with tissue that is dipped into liquid nitrogen or sprayed directly with free spray. This is the adapter for the Leica machine. It works with both the regular and the large Leica chucks. The cryo embedder never needs replacement parts. The same discs are used over and over again and washed clean with water. The cryo embedder's design is ergonomically friendly. The discs are rotated and the specimens embedded without movements of the hands that cause carpal tunnel so common to people in this profession. The smooth disc is easily removed from the cutting chucks without the need to partially thaw or twist. They will never break or cut the technician, which can happen with glass slides. This adapter is used for the regular and large size thermal shandon chucks. A technician's least favorite part of tissue processing is adjusting and readjusting the chuck holder so the specimen is parallel to the blade. When using the cryo embedder to freeze and orient specimens, each specimen is lowered onto the posts at the same angle, so very little, if any, adjustment will be needed when cutting. This system is economical. There are no accessories that need replenishing or disposable parts to wastefully throw away. Perfect, yet simple and easy. Last is the IEC adapter, which is used for both the IEC and the Tissue Tech chucks. This video has been made with the purpose of showing in detail the simplicity and ease with which tissue can be frozen and embedded using this process. The movements have been slowed down considerably compared to real time. When a technician becomes comfortable with the cryo and better method of processing tissue, they will move much faster than demonstrated on this video. This method is undeniably fast, but most importantly, it's efficient and accurate. Second stages or levels can be time consuming to embed and cut due to multiple pieces. If specimens are mapped and dyed using different colors for each piece, there is no reason they can't be embedded on the same disc. This greatly speeds up the processing turnaround time. All four pieces are marked differently, one from another, and all are embedded on the same flat plane. They will all be cut together and placed on the slide together. This will give the doctor less slides to view, there will be less slides to stain, cover slip and file, but most importantly, the patient will have a shorter wait. Often specimens need to be bisected. With the cryo and better, more than one specimen can be oriented and frozen simultaneously. Simply place two or even three flat discs on the embedding device and freeze the samples at the same time. Many offices do mows on very large sites. Specimens this size have to be cut into smaller pieces in order to fit on a microscope slide. Using the button holder that comes with the cryo embedder system, eight pieces can be oriented and frozen to where they are ready for cutting in less than three minutes. The mass of this piece of equipment will retain its temperature for long periods of time outside the cryostat chamber. However, only moments are needed. All eight of these pieces can be viewed at eye level and easily turned to see all sides. Even when demonstrated slowly for teaching purposes, all eight pieces are oriented and frozen in just over one minute. It will take another two minutes to assembly line embed them. Place the cutting chucks back into the holder and begin cutting this case. The 
cryo embedder system is easy, fast, efficient, accurate, cost effective, durable, and has been proven in labs and offices across this country and around the world to be a valuable instrument and tool in the processing of tissue for frozen sections. Simply said, it works.